it for race number two. Winner is horse number 10, Anecdote, a three-year-old bay gelding by Master of My Fate out of Ray Ray, owned by Mike Fullard and James Drew, trained by Jeff Woodruff, written by MJ Bailefeld, and bred by Highlands Farm Stud, PDY Limited. Second, number one, Morse. Third, number five, Nixon, and fourth to six, Pennington. 10, 1, 5, 6. 1 minute 42.98 seconds, the winning time. An exciting finish to race two on today's card. I must have say, I didn't really see much of anecdote in the parade ring. He's a little bit uh, late coming in and uh, a bit late going to, to post, but uh, certainly had a chance. And with me is Lucinda Woodruff. Lucinda, a bit late going down to, to the start, but uh, certainly had a chance today, didn't he? And he's won very, very nicely. Yeah, we had a bit of a blooper. Um, MJ's uh, sir single broke when I was saddling him, and then as he was about to go on the track, his bridle broke. So <laughs> it was a little bit of a running around like crazy. But um, yeah, Fee, he's... I kind of thought to myself three runs ago he should have had blinkers. He just uh, left so much up to do at the, at the top of the straight. He just never traveled in a race. And today's the first time I've actually seen him travel properly and he traced like he, he, sorry, he raced like the horse I always thought he was. Yeah, he showed he had a lot of guts there at the finish, didn't he? He really did plug on to win a nice race beating Morse there. Yes, yeah, he did. Um, he's an honest horse. He's just, he doesn't know how to race and he's a bit stupid and all over the place. I think he's... The break's really done him well um, with this forced layoff we've had, and he's matured. A lot of people keep saying the master of my fates come into themselves as four-year-olds, and I think that'll be the case with this horse. Yeah, let's hope he finds the winner's box again soon. But uh, the, the glimpse I did see of him, he looked really, really well beforehand, so you've obviously done a good job at home keeping them all fit. Yes, yeah, he's looking great. I must say, I, I looked at his odds, um, all of my horses' odds, actually, yesterday, and I, th I think they were all between 10 and 12 to 1, and I thought, geez, it's not a bad day to actually have a couple place bets and put them into the back end of quartets because I do fancy all of them today. Yeah, it must be a, um, so exciting and quite a relief to get your first winner back after the lockdown as well. Yes, and I must just say again a big thank you to James and Mike and Leanne. Uh, they're huge supporters of mine. They're my number one fans. Um, I wouldn't be here without them. You know, they've really started me up in everything. So to have a winner for them that they've bred to, uh, well done to Highlands as well. Uh, they keep their mares at Highlands, um, so they've bred a winner here too. And I must just say a huge thank you to them. I can only imagine they were shouting and cheering from home on the sofa, but very, very well done to you, and uh, yeah, may it continue. Well done, Lucinda. And also, sorry, thank you to MJ. He rides his horse every single day. He's a quirky horse, and MJ just gets everything out of the um, rubbish out of him, should I say. Um, yeah, so thanks to him. Cool. Here is winning rider, MJ. And MJ, you've been working so hard throughout lockdown, and uh, finally back in the winner's box. It must feel great. Yeah, for you. I mean, I think everyone's working hard. It was just limited time, but yeah, it's great to have a winner. Um, this is a bit quirky, as, as Lucinda said, and maybe the antics here took his mind off the business and he actually concentrated it. But I think I put it down to myself and Lucinda agreeing on putting blinkers on him. I mean, he's run to the line, but not underneath me. I could feel there was more and he wasn't putting it in. Yeah. And it worked today. He, he had a horse to run down and he put his head down and he won a gutsy race. Yeah, he did. He looked quite gutsy today. And uh, how are you feeling out there riding? These masks must be dreadful for your breathing. 
I'd like to put one of these ministers on as well so one of these things, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. It's not easy at all. I struggle just to walk in mine, let alone uh, ride in it. But you're doing a great job. And have you got nice rides for the rest of the day? Yeah, a few good uh, chances. Uh, those black nappers are very nice. Those very strong field. Um, Kane Laman Soda late on. He's doing very well at home. I'm riding Sevilla at the back. He's also a nice horse. And the first time I'm riding in the nursery, he's a very nice horse at the weights. I know Eric Terred looks hard to beat. Um, but at the weights, we, we must have a good each way chance to the public out there you can follow the rules he's done some good work at home yeah lovely rides throughout the rest of the afternoon well i hope i see you in the winner's box again yeah well thank done. you and to my sponsors haven't you and them got some new cap new caps they look fantastic wine farm is open five four days a week for one buying not unfortunately not tasting so please go and support those guys they've been great support of mine and let's go and support them yeah great stuff well done and well thank done you. to pippa aventier lucinda can i just call you in again um lucinda can i just call you in again i meant to give you um a cuda gift bag for your for your groom um so if you can just take that for your group winning groom thanks very much Lucinda. it's lovely to have kuda on on course as a sponsor today and uh, lovely for the grooms to all be getting a little something to take home but uh, anecdote was our winner of race two for lucinda woodruff and mj bailevelt